It's a golden age for the wines of Southern Italy, and there's never been a better time to get acquainted with Sicily. You already know it as one of Italy's most popular travel destinations, but its wine industry is racing ahead with sustainable viticulture and continually improving winemaking, making this Mediterranean island paradise more attractive than ever. I'm Wine Spectator Associate Editor Julie Herrens, and joining us today to tell us more about Sicily's Sicilia DOC designation is Wine Spectator Senior Editor Allison Napius. Hi, Allison. Hi, Julie. I've been covering the wines of Sicily for nearly a decade, and one of the many exciting changes I've seen during that time was the establishment of the Sicilia DOC, or Sicilia Doc, as the Italians like to say. The use of Sicilia on a wine's label is a quality distinction that consumers can look for, denoting rules governing the production of the wine, from allowed grape varieties to minimum alcohol levels and more. But the beauty of the Sicilia Doc appellation is that it embraces the great diversity that is possible in wines from Sicily. Wines produced from vineyards all over the island can carry the Sicilia Doc label, which means consumers can enjoy great stylistic range within everything from sparkling through dessert versions produced from white and red grape varieties. And isn't it true that many of those grape varieties are native to the island? That's right, Julie. The primary white varieties produced as bottles of Sicilia Doc are Grillo, Cattarato, also known as Lucido, as well as Enzolio and Sibibo. For the red wines, Nerodavola is king, but you should also look out for versions produced from one of my personal favorites, Frappato. There's so much to explore when it comes to the Sicilia DOC wines, but let's talk geography so we can better understand these bottlings. On the map, Sicily is the soccer ball being kicked by the Italian boot, but it's a big soccer ball, the size of Massachusetts. So that must mean a lot of different soil types and growing conditions, right? Exactly, which is part of the reason the Sicilia Doc designation allows so many grape varieties resulting in many different wine styles. The city of Palermo sits on Sicily's northern coast and outside and to the south of Palermo are a number of higher elevation vineyard sites. In this area and through central Sicily, the wines can show good freshness and elegance, including bright versions of Sicily's signature variety, Nerodavola. Along the southern coast are a number of leading areas for wine, including Menfi to the southwest and Vittoria and Noto, all the way over in the southeastern corner of the island. These lower altitude coastal vineyards, based on sandy soils, are typically hot and dry for much of the growing season. The wines are often richer and more full-bodied, with standout examples from Nerodavola and Frappato, but also French, white, and red varieties. And I love how these wines complement food. You know I love to cook as well as drink great wine. Grillo is great with grilled salmon and vegetables, and Nerodavola is a good match with burgers. Do you have any go-to food and wine pairings? Absolutely. I mentioned that I've always liked Frappato. I love these bright, lightly herbal reds loaded with cherry and berry fruit. One of my regular seafood dishes is tuna steak or swordfish marinated with rosemary and garlic and then grilled. A good frappato is a perfect pairing with this meal and with many seafood, light meat, and pasta dishes. Part of the reason Sicily offers such intriguing wine and food pairings is the island's status as a crossroads of the Mediterranean. Although the Phoenicians introduced winemaking to Sicily around the 10th century BC, its centralized location brought many seafaring people and their different cultures to its shores. That blend of diverse cultures and influences is one of the reasons Sicily has so much to offer to visitors. Definitely, Julie. And a lot of that history still impacts Sicily today. It's really a tapestry of sights, sounds, and flavors that are reflected in the wines of Sicilia Doc, represented by a combination of historic, family-owned wineries looking to the future, and a new generation bringing their own ideas and energy to this historic island. There's also an exciting wave of female winemakers that are helping to shape the island's wines and winemaking future. But how do we get from the Phoenicians in the 10th century BC to today? Well, there was a lot of winemaking history in between, but it's important to note that Phylloxera arrived to Sicily in the 19th century, devastating the vineyards. Then two world wars in the 20th century, not to mention the ever-present threat of an active volcano, made grape growing difficult. Many vineyards throughout Sicily were abandoned or else dedicated to large quantity production. But a handful of longtime family grape growers held on to Sicily's strong winemaking tradition, persevering in the second half of the 20th century. Beginning as early as the 1980s, more native Sicilian winemakers were seeing high quality results. And the early 2000s saw new winemakers from the Italian mainland and other countries arrive, confident that great wines could be made from Sicily's old vineyards planted to ancient and native grape varieties. And Sicily is also a leader in sustainability. 
Some of the island's leading wineries are members of the Sicily Sustain Foundation. Membership requirements include a ban on chemical herbicides, an emphasis on energy efficient practices and eco-friendly materials, a commitment to biodiversity and a limit on wine bottle weights. Sicily is without a doubt a region to watch. It's steeped in history, but today it's more about the future with exciting change and advancement happening all the time. The wines of Sicilia Dock are a great range for wine lovers to explore with many bottlings offering both quality and value. Cheers. Cheers.